we're gonna show you how to make a super simple prop that's gonna let you give candy to trick-or-treaters from a safe six feet away from all the little ghosts and witches and superheroes in your neighborhood. <laughs> in the time of COVID, we've all been really worried about how it's going to affect Halloween. Now, if you're like us, it's your favorite holiday. We've been looking forward to this season all year long. So there was no way we were going to let the pandemic put a damper on it. We designed a killer prop that you and everyone in your neighborhood can easily make so that you can be the savior of Halloween in your town. We're starting with what we think we're going to need for this project. We've got three inch PVC, one inch PVC, handful of connectors. We got a way to cut the PVC pipe. We have PVC glue, and our most favorite thing in the world, the hot glue gun. We don't need to clamp it, do we? Well, ideally we would clamp it, but uh, you know, this is what we got right here. We're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. There are better ways to do this, like if you have power tools, use them. But we're trying to make this really simple, so we're gonna use a hacksaw. So it's gonna be what, something about like this angle, I think. Yeah, we want it to be about two feet off the ground in the lower part and then four feet off the ground on the top part. So the next thing we're gonna do is make the base. So to start, we've laid out kind of this contraption here. I think this is going to be like the base that sits on the floor and you know, these will all be connected with pipes. And then we're gonna have two pipes coming up like this. And then at the top, we'll have these pipes and then our big pipe will sit here. So now what we have to do is cut a bunch of little pieces of the one inch pipe to put these together. That is hard work. <laughs> I'm tired from doing that. This is just some pieces of plywood. It's a little jig that we basically made like a handmade miter box and it just creates a little space in here and there's, there's a saw curve. You can put your material inside and then the saw blade fits in here. So if you're doing stuff with hand tools, then this is a great way to get nice straight cuts over and over again. That being said, I'm gonna put this away and never look at it again. We're gonna cut the rest of these with a miter saw. So to put our bases and stands together, we could just take the pipes and put them in the little connectors and it would stay pretty well. But we're gonna use glue instead. We're gonna use standard PVC glue. This stuff works with a primer and a glue. So first we need to put the primer on all of the, you know, these parts, okay. the pipe parts. So the PVC glue ended up being a really bad idea and you should not use it, but we're gonna go ahead and wash this anyway so that you can see why. Uh, okay, so we've just learned some things, you know, like we do sometimes. We totally screwed this thing up. All right, so first look at this one. You can see the shape, right? There's like these two L's and anyway, this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what uh, the one looks like that you just watched us do. And obviously there's some problems. Uh, one being that this is sticking up too much and the other is we're missing, missing some parts uh, because two things. Well, we put it together in the wrong order because we were rushing because the camera was on. And two, this glue is insane. It dries like instantly and it, we didn't have any time to correct mistakes. So we have decided no glue. Don't do the glue, you don't need it. This PVC glue is way too hardcore for this project. So we're gonna nix that and we're gonna put a note at the beginning of the video that we're wrong. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the rest of this without any glue, no more glue and 
We'll see how it goes. Mine's <laughs> so messed up. That's what I get. I'm paying for my mistakes. This one is kind of a uh, twisty. It's ha first off, it's Halloween. Nobody cares. It's gonna be fine. And second of all, the moral of the story is, don't rush. Take your time. Pay attention. And don't use glue. <laughs> So basically, this creates a little space for the pipe right here. Can we make a slope? Can we use this? <laughs> Candy slide. <laughs> nice. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah. Once the pipe stands were assembled, we took them both outside and gave them a couple quick coats of a black spray paint. So we got our stands done, but if we put this giant pipe on there, it's just gonna slide right off. There's nothing really keeping it up there. So we have an idea. We cut a strip of the PVC, or like maybe an inch wide, and then we cut that in half. And then we're gonna stick these little things on here to make a lip, and we think that's gonna work. Is it staying? Maybe. How long do you think I need to hold it there? <laughs> I think you should just hold it for a while. Forever? <laughs> Until Halloween? <laughs> Woo! Stuck. all these numbers on here mean? PVC numbers? Not safe for... <laughs> Passwords. Password G. <laughs> Driving while... Voracious. Voraciously. <laughs> Underprepared. <laughs> at this point, this thing is 100% functional. I think if you stood at that end, Jamie, mm -hmm. we are definitely six feet apart. We're yes. appropriately social distance. No for viruses are gonna be transferred from you to me. But it's just some pipes, it's super boring. Now we gotta decorate. The cool thing about this is you could decorate it any way you want. You could put spider webs on it, you could do like a witch theme, like it's Halloween, almost anything goes. It's a blank canvas. We're gonna wrap the skeleton tightly with the fabric, making sure you can see some bone in between. And then we're gonna go back and add in a bunch of tatters so I give them some volume. We're also gonna attach the hand to the pipe, this one to the pipe as well, and that's gonna help secure them in place. We took our time and had some fun decorating the mummy, and once we got him wrapped up, we <laughs> invited some of the neighborhood kids over to check it out and give it a test run. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. 
and because we are still in the middle of COVID, all of the kids and the people that you see, they're all families and they're close neighbors who are all part of the same quarantine bubble. And that's why nobody's wearing masks. If you like Halloween props, look right down there. We've got a whole playlist full of them. There's lots of awesome like decorations and cool effects that you can make. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to our channel and have a wicked Halloween.